So now that trip is over, what's your reaction to the entire conference, the recent announcement? I imagine that the sum of Twitter's announcements haven't been a net positive for your companies. Well, it's been an interesting week, and uh, there has been a, um, a lot of conversations uh, around, the, around our future as uh, developers in the Twitter ecosystem. And I raised my own concerns, obviously, when they started competing directly with us on, on the BlackBerry and Android, namely, which we have. What I saw yesterday mm -hmm. was a very open team. I, I, I like Biz, Evan, I like Ryan, I know what they're doing, I like Dick. And I think they entirely screwed up the way they communicated this. Mm -hmm. But when they tell you, we have to do this, yeah. because people you know, can't you know, find Twitter, I actually you know, can try to put myself in their shoes and understand why they are doing this. And the way they answered, I think, restored trust. Because so there will you're always be about Twitter. You're reiterating your post from the other day, which we can link to as well. I think it's great that you think that they're awesome today. But the truth is that they have been reassuring you for months and months that they would never get into this game, right? And they would never compete with you directly. Is no. that a question? It's a question, yeah. Did, they, did you feel reassured prior to, say, Fred Wilson's post from them that they would never compete directly with you? sort of based on direct statements from well, the Well, we, we have always assumed, Facebook has been integrated in, in Sysmic for a year. Yeah. We acquired Ping FM that supports 40 plus networks and yeah. services. And we launched yesterday our platform yeah. in which Twitter okay. is a All great stuff, and we'll, we can link to all this. Yeah, you the question I know you think those are features. No, no, I'm just saying let's get to the yeah. meat of this, which is did you feel as though they would never compete with you based on statements? I always made? expected they would. We, we've been always competing. Yeah. With Twitter.com. Yeah. Sismic Web had a 40% growth in March. Yeah. Again, but did they tell you that they would never get into the, the sort of direct. No, but game? they didn't tell yeah. us either they would. Because remember the, 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 the uh, form spring, right? Two weeks before all this went down, you said directly, they will never compete with us. It would be stupid for them to compete with us. That was my statement. Right, but now you're saying you would assume they would compete with you all along. So I'm just like, what? where's the reality? Like. I understand that the needs of your business say that you need to maintain a relationship with Twitter, but if you look at John Borthwick at Betaworks, who has a number of investments, he's sort of coming directly after Twitter and saying, it's unreasonable right now because Twitter, the rules aren't, aren't sort of specified. Developers don't know what rules they're playing under. He's telling, I, I, f I sense a no bullshit approach in what he's saying. Mm. And with you sense you, a total bullshit approach I do. in what I say. Because every two days it's a different story for me. If they're never going to compete, oh they are competing, oh everything's fine. I've I would always been competing. Uh, okay. What with Twitter.com they were. We, I have been competing with Twitter.com <coughs> since the very beginning. Okay, fair enough. Right, they have not yeah. said they wouldn't do that. Yeah. And I was expecting us to always be multi-social networks and only Twitter. Why did you? So think why why, why, why do you that? see? Why did you think two weeks before Fred Wilson said you were and others were hole fillers? Why did you think they wouldn't compete with you on Android and other platforms? So that's a much more interesting question. It's the one I keep asking. I honestly, that's I then I it's yeah. my French. I uh, now I got it. I understand. It's um, difficult. Yeah. Yeah, it is. So <laughs> <laughs> basically, I assume that because I really thought. Twitter has something unique around themselves mm -hmm. in terms of number of developers and in terms of the money flooding into a space, John is one and you know. Yeah. And also Twitter always talked about being the pipes, right? Being the sort of infrastructure. That's right. Yeah. And if you think about it, it's like, uh, I think it would have been extraordinary to be able to make everyone win by, by not doing what they did. Yeah. Right? They still did it. But I think it's, this is the reason, coming back to your question, why I assumed they wouldn't do it in terms of having their own clients, because I thought they, there was another way, yeah. which would have been to make us all win, to not pick a winner like Tweety, and I also told them that. Yeah. And they changed direction. I, I, you know, that's, that's pretty clear. So why did I assume it? Just because I, think, I thought they would win and they would not compete with 70% of their traffic. I was wrong, I said it, which is why I don't understand why you always keep coming back to that. Because I've been pretty consistent in saying, yes, I said it. Yes, I was wrong. Louis, so what makes you think that trust is back now? What are the, some of the signals coming from Twitter that you're getting? I mean, because conceivably, they could compete with your desktop client, right? Your, your desktop application. Well, they, again, they're competing on the web. We got 40% traffic. Um, 
in a funny way, we got the highest number of tweets posted on Seismic Web yesterday, so that's a good sign as well. And they, I don't think they're going to compete with desktop. And that's not what I understand. Could. But they could. <laughs> they could, of yeah. course, and they have Tweety and so on. So, I mean, Tweety yes. already has a desktop application. They said what they're going yeah, to does do. Does it mean that all the other applications are going to die? I don't think so. That's where we right. apparently totally disagree. But it's a tough competitive environment to be competing on a platform. It's sort of like competing with Microsoft on the Office platform, right? I mean, well, so the first thing which reassured me is the fact that not only they will open, they will keep their APIs open, but also they committed that their own Twitter.com will run off the public APIs that give us developer a chance to basically use the same to tools. To build your own Office platform and, and they compete took with Office. They, they took a very strong, they took a very, <laughs> they took a very strong. I mean, that's the exact analogy though, right? Is no. I mean, anybody could build an no. Office platform. Because I'm, I'm coming back to always yeah. to the user, which is what I've been right. doing for a year. And if you are a brand, if you're Coca-Cola or Pepsi, or if <coughs> you are just someone building his brand on social networking, like a yeah. Gary Vee, mm -hmm. you actually care much more about your users than you care about the network. So you want to have a lot of following on Twitter. If you're TechCrunch, you want a lot of following on Twitter. You want a, a lot of following fans on mm -hmm. Facebook. You will have a lot of following on Google Buzz. On YouTube, you want a lot of subscribers. And your goal is to not only you know, send information to all those networks, which we help with acquiring Ping FM, but also then getting all the feedback, which we the first move with the platform we did. And that's, so that's your goal. You don't really care that much if it's this one or the other one. So we're seeing ourselves like more this of a, is where he's of a, a sweet, question. A like Switzerland, there's a question a Switzerland of social networking, yeah. where we want to work with all of them, and we want to be on the side of the user. Coca-Cola or Pepsi doesn't, Care that so much. just to summarize, they your want argument. more interactions in social you're, networking. You, to summarize, and tell me if this is unfair, but you think you're going to have a competitive uh, environment where you're going to be able to succeed because one, you support other social platforms besides Twitter, yep. and two, you're competing with Twitter uh, on the same APIs that they'll be using themselves. Is that is that the sum total of why you think you have a competitive ability to win? Is and because yeah. users don't care that much about where their friends are. They care about talking to their friends in real time, yeah. and they care about getting the news in real time. Well, here's the concern I have, is that you guys are both sort of saying, world's changed, we'll adapt, mm -hmm. right? Uh, the problem is that John Borthwick is saying, uh, he's saying some of that, but he's also saying bullshit. He's calling bullshit on all this. Uh, some guys like you, who I talk with privately, are saying, yeah, it's bullshit. It's it's terrible. I should watch my language. We bleep that out. But that, it, that what Twitter has done is a betrayal. And those same guys publicly are saying, uh, you know, it's fine. It's great. Well, uh, they're working on the same APIs. It's all going to be fine. We're all going to make it. And that's fine. So what I'm wondering is, why are you so terrified of Twitter? Are you, are you afraid that if you say something like John has publicly against Twitter, that they're going, there's going to be reprisals? That they'll target you guys first? That they'll do something else to hurt you? I, I, I don't think those guys are as evil as you're describing. Well, then why are the different all? public and private statements? Well, that's you assuming that. It's me assuming that, that maybe I'm hearing different there are, things. There are very angry yeah. developers who are very quiet. They are very they're angry. Ang angry. Angry, yeah. And they're yeah. very quiet. Yeah. There, yeah. Was, there was a meeting before, uh, before the uh, chirp. A secret meeting? There was a developer meeting. Mm -hmm. did, did Twitter know about it or was it like yeah. a secret meeting? Ryan Salver yeah. came okay. yep. to that meeting. And as a group, it was interesting. Um, and there were, there were some very angry developers. I cannot support that. I don't okay. think. I think it's just wrong to assume that Twitter will destroy its ecosystem still, as I said on Form 3. Right. With being wrong on the mobile clients. Well, there's no reason to destroy it. They see it as an R&D effort, right? Know, what works they can grab and what doesn't. No, no, no. I think there will be companies like Zynga did on Facebook, mm. which will grow off uh, the Twitter ecosystem. And I think I actually agree on the opportunity that if they go from 100 million users right now to 500 million, I think they will. That's also something which, you know, really irritated me. People said they screwed up. They're going to slow down the growth. Yeah. They're going to go against Facebook and therefore lose. I don't think that's going to happen. I think Twitter is a very unique thing, which completely dramatically changed the way we consume the news, for example, and interact with our friends yeah. in public. 